What's going on, ESGN Nation? And welcome back to another episode here on MLB The Show. This is Road to the Show with Rashad Bolden. And this is episode 217. As you see here, we're in the Bay Area today, taking on the Oakland A's in the final, uh, well, the final road trip here in the first half of the season. Now, this episode is going to be both the Oakland A's uh, two-game series that we have right there. We're going to start off with that. And, of course, we have a f uh, four games against Arizona that is going to be very important for us uh, as uh, they are currently leading in the division. Now, in the American League West, you see the Mariners, of course, always simming very well in this series. Of course, there you see the team that a lot of people are talking about that we could be traded to here soon, that being the Rangers. They're just right behind them, about four to about five games behind them. There you see the lineup right now for the Oakland A's, who right now are trying to get themselves out of the hole right now that they have right now in the AL West. So this is going to be a good series here. Uh, both teams got a lot to prove to themselves here. And, of course, uh, there you see their pitching, uh, their rotation there, Sonny Gray, and, of course, some others. Now you see John Kent from 989. Uh, our agent there talking to us before the game here about a possible trade here and what that could look like here as he's to letting us know that there are some heavy negotiations right now about possibly trading us as uh, the Padres seem like they just don't want to deal with us anymore and of course Bolden does not want to deal with them anymore as he's feel like his time here in, uh, in uh, SoCal here um, it's coming to an end so we could be seeing a trade here probably uh, as early as probably the all-star break uh, for Bolden and possibly going to the Rangers Red Sox and Cardinals are some of the teams that rumorly at least in the rumor mill right now are some of the teams that are looking at him so there you see 383 average right now for the season as he's on board here with one out and one on no score yet here in this one. This one just getting started here. But Bolden's going to hit this one over to the right field. That one's going to fall, bounce off the wall out there. And a runner is not going to score. He's going to get to as far as third base, putting two runners on board. So Oakland already up by seven here as we go to the top of the third. So our pitching, as we've been saying here, uh, the start of this new campaign this season has not been the best. As Bolden hits this one again off the wall there in right field. And goes, uh, gets another stand-up double. That puts him in scoring position now with one out. So there you see 41 doubles now in this uh, season so far for him. There you see he leads doubles for the Padres right now. And that's going to be a big, big hurt there for the uh, for the Padres. As uh, he's been pretty much their whole offense here in the last couple of seasons here. So Willie Dickerson now up to bat next here. And, of course, a lot of people in Slow Cow are kind of, there's a little bit of split in the tribe when it comes to the Padres uh, crowd base. Some are blaming Bolden. Some are blaming the organization. You see Bolden here going to go in for the score. And they're not scoreless anymore as they get their first run on the board as Willie Dickerson runs that one out. And he gets got RBI for that uh, RBI single there. So nice job. As I thought they had maybe had Dickerson dead to rights here on this play, but he gets there on time. <coughs> Excuse me, and gets on board. Seven to six or seven to one now here on the top of the fifth. Nobody on, and nobody out. Oh, two count here for Bolden. He's going to get underneath this one. It's going to fly out to shallow right field, and that is going to be it for Bolden here for the Padres. Here, as the Padres really struggling here in this one. They're down by six. And now we have a dynamic challenge coming up here as we uh, try to keep this offensive momentum going for ourselves here. we got two on, nobody out here. So great situation here for Bolden to try to drive some runs in. And he has a 1-2 count there. That's a dribble there to the infield to the shortstop. Shortstop makes a play at second, gets the force out there, and now puts runners on the corners here now at first and third. And we do fail the challenge there. So... We don't help ourselves here as, uh, you know, we don't drive anybody in. And, of course, we do uh, leave a dead duck out there for uh, the uh, A's here. Is now runners on first and third here, one out. Bolden's going to go ahead and steal. Second here gets there, and no problem there. Getting in on time, getting steal. 
So two for four here for Bolden, two doubles and a run for him as he has 23 RBIs and 76 runs batted in this season. Eight to three now here on the top of the ninth. Two out, nobody on. Bolden rips this one there, hoping to start a two-out rally here as we are currently down by five runs here in this ball game. So Bolden on first base here with two out. Full count now for Willie Dickerson here as Bolden's going to take off here, and that is going to be it for this ball game as Dickerson strikes out, and that is going to be it. Sonny Gray will pick up the victory here in this one as we see here. Of course, why not celebrate here for your home crowd there, getting a big win here and helping themselves there. Like I said, they're in there. They've got a big of a big of a hole here for themselves as uh, we see Senegray picks up another victory here this season. Three for five for Bolden as he has two doubles and a single there that didn't do too much there for his ball club. But, uh, you know, 12 hits in the ball game compared to Oakland's 14. And Oakland wins that one 8-3 is your final. Now, get to the final game of this two games interleague series here in Oakland. And it's a uh, business day, uh, businessman uh, type of schedule here today. It's an early afternoon game here. Got a couple of fans starting to file in here as we take a look at the numbers here on Dan Strickley. There you see his numbers so far this season. We'll try to see what Bolden can do here as he did not have the best of a start there in that last game here. We'll see what he does here in the day. Two runners on board with nobody out. An 0-2 count coming up here. And we'll see here. That is a pitch there. That's going to oh fly there out to shallow right field. That's just not been his... Well, it's been kind of his bread and butter in this series, but uh, in this situation there, we like we just seen that last at bat there previously in that uh, first game go short. So now we're down by five here in the top of the third. One runner on and one out, and Bolden goes chasing there on that slider as uh, he is not really showing here too much. Uh, remember, this is still an audition. He's uh, He's got to play well here to show other clubs that he's worth uh, for a trade. Uh, he, if he does not do so well here between now and the trade deadline, which is coming up in about two weeks, uh, he may not be able to be, he may not be traded, and he may be here with the Padres even longer. I don't think he would want that. As we go now here, Bolden grounded out back in that previous at bat there. So now he's 0 for 3. We'll see what he can do here as uh, he's on board here with one on and two out. So 11 to 2. Wow, this pitching is horrible. And, oh, Bolden gets beamed there. And, uh, yeah, he's flipping the bat there, letting the guy know that he is not happy about that at all. As that comes off his, ooh, his elbow there. And his inside elbow. And that is not what you want to see from your slugger here, even though he may be traded. So, again, 12 to 2 here now. Two runners on board here, nobody out. And Bolden gets all of this one here. This one's going to go high and deep, and that is a souvenir for a home run there. Uh, home run there for Bolden. That's his 24th of the season. I don't know why I want to say touchdown for. Uh, maybe because we're in the Coliseum and Raiders play here, but or at least used to play here. But there you see 12-5 to here in this ball game. Not much for the Padres can do in this one if, unless we see a huge rally, which I doubt it, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, there you see a nice uh, three-run shot there from the slugger. And we'll see how things are going to turn out. And unfortunately, we could not bounce back in this one as we end up coming up short here and end up getting swept here in, in uh, the Coliseum here in this interleague series between the Oakland A's and the Padres. So, one for four day there for Bolden, his 24th of the season. A nice home run there, a three-run shot to be exact. And we end up losing this one 12 to five. So a tough break there for us. Uh, of course, uh, you know, the non-divisional game, but nonetheless, a game that, a series that we needed, and we needed bad. As, uh, yeah, 
season is not looking too bright here or at least it hasn't been looking too bright here as of late we're still below 500 right now and playing baseball 32 and 51 right now we're going to get back on the bus here and get ready for this next division game coming with this this very important division game coming up get taking on the first place d-backs as the d-backs there you see their lineup there they got a pretty good lineup andrew mccutcheon and uh, so i think still got ghost schmidt and of course uh, they got uh, gerard and a couple other players there uh, that we're accustomed to seeing uh, from other series here, especially our Kansas City Royals series. Got to look how look like a couple of Royals there in this one. But Chase Field here, a packed house here in Phoenix, as the 53 and 20 or 53 and 34 Diamondbacks playing great baseball here this season and been doing pretty much so all season long here from the from the uh, from the first day and, and, and literally from the word go. They have taken over this division, and looks like they're gonna try to do that here against us today. As you see, Daniel Hudson there, 17 starts for him, six and eight for the year so far. So we'll see what Bolden can do here. You see, he leads the National League both in average and RBIs, and there you see his numbers so far here this year. Two on, nobody out here. It's a great count here for him, a 3-0 count. As we'll see what Bolden can do here with this pitch here. And Bolden smacks this one here high and deep. This is going to go back. This is going to go over the wall, and that ball is gone. Three-run dinger there. And the fans here at Chase Field are all suddenly quiet now as they know these Padres are desperate, desperately looking to find ways to win ball games, and especially Bolden. Uh, he usually does pretty well here at Chase Field. Uh, and last couple of, uh, you know, there was pretty much through his, how his career here so far with the Padres. And he shows off that great power that he has there on that at bat. So now up by a run here, four to three here in the top of the second. So we pretty much did a great job there batting around. Two out, one on. And 0 1 count here for Bolden if he gets a pitch. And this one here is going to go up. It's going to go deep. It's back into center field. A little showing off a little warning track power there. And that is the last, the final out of the inning as we lead this one by one. So now we head on now to the top of the fourth here. It's now a 7-5 ball game. Arizona is starting to fight back. With nobody on board but two out here in the top of the fourth. We'll see what Bolden can do here. It's, oh, you know that motion right there. Bolden got a hold of all that one there out to left center field. That ball is up and it's gone. Home run as Bolden hits a solo shot there. His 26 now of the season. We see him hit one earlier in this one, his 25th. And now he hit his second one of the day. And they now have a still trailing here in this one, 7-6 to six here with a nice solo shot there with two outs. So Willie Dickerson is going to be up next here. And so hopefully we can keep that momentum going here for ourselves. It's been nice we had somebody on board. But, unfortunately, that is not the case when when it comes to <coughs> Padres baseball this season with Bolden been up to bat. 9-6 to six here as we see Arizona start to tackle on two more runs late in this one as Bolden. We don't see this too often from him, but he is known to, uh, you know, hit once he hit a home run, you know, at some point here we're going to strike out, and that's what he does there. And that one is, that was just dirty. And having him chase that one low. As Bolden, not uh, too happy about that pitch. 10-6 to six now here in the top of the ninth with nobody on and two out here for Bolden. 0-1 count. Breaks his bat. That's going to be a simple dribbler there to the se second baseman for the routine play. And that's the final out of the inning. That is your ball game. Final score, 10-6. to six. Arizona wins this one here at Chase Field. Almost we. Yeah, we gave a little scare. Gave a little scare to Arizona. But the D-backs were able to hold on to the victory, come back and do a great job there of fighting back from this one and win this one by four. So hopefully, if we can uh, kind of take what we, you know, kind of look at the film, use, you know, use any data or any, you know, uh, realize what we did in this game, we can have a good chance here now to pull out a victory. Hopefully we can pull at least one game out of this series here. It's I know it's pretty much a throwaway season, but if we can just play kind of play spoiler and just kind of help some other teams out, 
uh, you know, the Giants or Dodgers uh, in this division. And uh, just kind of get these Diamondbacks, you know, just kind of scare them a little bit. I think it'll be kind of helpful for us. But, of course, Bolden probably won't be here for too long here. As like I said, he's been in a lot of talks, negotiations with, and, of course, we learned uh, that negotiations between the Padres and whatever other ball club that's looking at Bolden here are in, uh, in talks right now, and he could be traded here pretty soon. So Flores will there. You see his numbers there this season. He'll be the pitcher here for the Diamondbacks. And let's go to the top of the first here. Two out, nobody on. Routine ground ball there to second base as they get Bolden out there on that one. And that will, of course, wrap up the at-bat. So no score here as we go to the bottom half of that first. It's still scoreless now here at Chase Field. As we move on now to the top of the third. Top of the third with one runner on and one out. Padres lead this one by one as Bolden hits this one there. That is going to be a ball out to left field. Nice job as he finds a gap out there. And now gets a runner in scoring position. Top of the fourth now here. Two runners on and a two out. One, two count here for Bolden as we now lead this one. Four, nothing as Bolden hits this one up the middle there. And they get the force out there at second. Great job there from the pitcher. Uh, reacting right after that pitch was uh, thrown. And getting that ball and be able to turn that uh, get that force out there at second base so now one for three for the day here for bolden as he is singled and of course uh, came in as a run that would batter's uh, dynamic challenge here in this situation and we'll see if we can try to complete this one here we're still lead this one by four as the bullpen surprisingly enough is doing a great job here of holding on to this lead Bolden's going to do a little cue shot there that is just not going to be enough no i guess it is gets there on time Nice job as they do uh, score that a base hit for him. So go to the top of the ninth now coming up. Nobody on but one out. Bolden up to bat here again and hits this one over the right field. Drops down. That should be a single. That's exactly what they're going to give him, and that's what he's going to get. As he just can't advance himself. He's looking, thinking about going to second there, but realize, you know, uh, that right fielder might have a good arm. So we go here. It's uh, Bo's gonna go ahead and take off here, looking for a stolen base here. Gets there, no problem. Nice job. He steals another base. It's 37th of the season. Gets himself in scoring position now here, and just trying to really trying to up the ante here in this, as they know runs are coming to a premium for them. So they gotta try to score as much as they possibly can. Now if Dickerson can hit one up the middle here or one down the right field line. It would really be helpful, as you see. Dickerson dropped uh, third strike there, and Bolden's going ahead and advance to third. <coughs> and now there'll be two away as Addison Reed gets his second strike out here in this ball game here. As you see, yeah, drop third, uh, drop third strike, and they go ahead and do some house cleaning there, throwing the runner there out at first. Full count now here. Uh, for the next batter as Reed here gives up a shot here. This is going to go high and deep. This one is going to hit and it's, I believe it's going to bounce over the wall as Para gets a ground rule double. They're going to call that there as it bounces out of the ballpark. So it is uh, by rule, ground rule double. Bolden come in, of course, come in to score and that will help them out here as they will get the victory here in game two of this series. Nice job. As, like I said, we were able to figure out how to uh, attack this uh, this offense and really did a great job here of shutting them down. Uh, and then, of course, our you know our uh, pitching there did a great job. Bullpen did a great job holding on uh, to the lead, not giving up anything there. So hopefully they can uh, look at this film and then figure out how to do that and try to do that every night now <laughs> for the rest of the season here that will really help us out as you see we win this one seven to nothing uh, seven runs 12 hits no errors there for them they had f i believe s f seven hits and one error no runs scored for the diamondbacks so we go to the third game here of this four game set here at chase field and 
And there you see Tyson Ross will, of course, be the pitcher there for us. And it's Marco Estrada there. 17 starts there, 2-5 and five for the season, and he's 6.20 ERA. 66 strikeouts, 26 walks in the season. So we're trying to see if we can try to take advantage of him with that high ERA and uh, try to really uh, get underneath his skin quickly and early. 388 now for Bolden. And of course, he's been hitting very well. Of course, the on base position is just, just amazing. Really unheard of. Well, we'll see what he can do here now with a runner on second and with one out. 0 1 pitch here coming to Bolden. As he gets a pitch, and he's going to drive this one out to the left field, and that's going to go right. Just a nice rope there to the left fielder for an out. As he does, of course, uh, runner there at second cannot advance. Now we're down by five here in the top of the fourth, and we'll see Bolden here. Hits this one over the right field. This one's going to go back, but it's going to be staying in the ballpark this time around. As that is just going to be an easy out. For inning number four, as the Padres not starting off on the right direction there for their leadoff man. So now over two here in this one as Bolden flied out and lined out already here in today's game. We'll see what he can do here in this dynamic challenge now. Try to hit a single or better. We're down, oh geez, we're down by ten. So okay, bullpen's back here today, not doing anything as usual. So we hit this one over the right field. That one's going to go ahead and drop right into the glove of the right fielder. Runners will have to stay. Well, actually, the second runner from second will go ahead and advance, but the runner at first will stay, splitting the runners at first and third. Bases are loaded now here with two out and a one-two count here for Bolden. As he has a great chance now to try to bring home some runs. And, oh, that change up there. Yeah, I don't. I kind of agree with him. That was not in the zone, but the umpire says otherwise. And Bolden, not liking that. I believe Bolden, kind of just talking to the uh, umpire and you know, a teammate of his had to come and grab him. So now we go to the top of the ninth here. Runners on the corners, two out, and this one's going to be flight out to right field for the final. No, not the final out there. Is that's going to be a ground rule double? An RBI double there for Bolden, as a run will come across the play. Bolden will, of course, be rewarded second. As we take a look there, and see that one bounce right out. And there you see the Diamondbacks come back, and, or, or not come back. Well, they come back in this game and win game three of this series, but they just dominate in this one. And that is the just the dominance we've been seeing, been talking about all season long with this ball club here. They've had everything, all facets of the game. Pitching, base running, hitting, bullpen, you name it. They've been doing it here, and that's why they have been leading this division. By far with some a lot of mediocre players, not too many big names here. I guess Andrew McCutcheon probably be the biggest name there. But for the most part here, it's all been pretty much just a really good team that uh, the Diamondbacks organization has put together. So final score, 14-3, to three, or excuse me, 14-5. to five. As the Diamondbacks just put a whooping on us. Now, we'll try to see if we can split this series here now. As you see, 35, or 38 and 53. And, of course, 58 and 35 there for, uh, for him. There's Henry Murray, I think, that is right there. So, even better. They, yeah, they got pretty good names there on the ball club. Patrick Corbin, of course, uh, one of their guys, uh, top eight guys there for this organization. 18 starts. 9-5 for the season here. We'll see if we can get try to get him uh, shaken up here. As you see, there's Bolden's number so far in the series. 6 for 15. Two home runs, a double, and a five RBIs. So now runner on first here on this dynamic challenge here. We're going to try for a power swing and try to uh, drive in a run here, I believe, also. So 2-0 uh, count for Bolden. Top of the first. And Bolden hitting this one up the middle there. That's going to go right up the middle. That's going to be a base hit, and we'll see if this challenge, yep, uh, I believe it's a failure. So we could not, we use a power swing, but we could not drive that runner in. So now we go to the top of the third, and when we leave this one 2 nothing, nobody on and nobody out. This is going to be the leadoff here for Bolden, as we'll see a 3-1 count, that ball being popped out to uh, shallow center field, and that'll be the first out of the inning. 
as we are leading by two. So, so far, we're looking pretty good here to see McCutcheon there. He has to be up there in age here. I <laughs> at this point, he has to be in his mid-30s right now. Uh, and still playing it very well. Uh, I looked at his numbers before this series here. I'm like, wow, like, that's that's definitely McCutcheon right there. mccutcheon this type of uh, career he's having right now out here in Arizona. So now 3-2 uh, here in the top of the eighth. And we are really holding on to this lead as much as we possibly can now. Nobody out as Bolden hits this one there over to left field. That one's going to rattle around. This should be a good enough for him for a double as he does get a nice double. And, of course, that puts him in scoring position now here. His 63rd double of the season. And now looking to see if Willie Dickerson or whoever is next here in this order uh, can come up and knock him in. Hopefully with a base hit. Bolden should be able to score just by a base hit there at second base. So now we'll see Bolden here. Oh, Bolden thinking about going, but no. Dickerson is actually hit instead. And that is going to be, as you take a look there, oh, on his upper thigh there. Personally, I know how he feels because that, that, that hurts. <laughs> that, that stuff hurts. So Logan there gives up a... Uh, you're uh, hit by pitch there, so he gives up a uh, gives a runner a free base. Now runners at first and a second. Fong is up next here. We'll see what he can do with two runners on board with nobody out. Remember, nobody's out here. One one count now for Fong. Bolden's going to go ahead and take off here for third. It actually, going to be a double steal. As I believe, yeah, there you see uh, Willie there taking off too. So a nice double still here, putting runners now at second and third. And now we'll see what Fong can do here with runners and score position. He's over two here in this one. So this is a good opportunity to kind of make his day. As he has a one-two count here. And he is going to strike out as he just did not pull the trigger there on that at bat. So with one away now, two runners on. we still got an opportunity out here to tack on some more runs. Need a base hit from Steve Campbell. If uh, he can just hit one up the middle here. Runner Dickerson should be able to score there from second. Full count now coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. As we'll see the pitch. And that's going to be another strikeout there. So Corbin doing his job there. Getting paid that big money he's getting paid. And uh, he this time now with this at bat here. He's going to go ahead and walk the next batter to load the bases up. So they probably know the next person up the bat here as, oh yeah, it's Josh Harrison, yeah. <laughs> Former Pittsburgh uh, Pirate himself, of course, with us here this season. So now Bolden, uh, not Bolden, but Bolden, he's up to bat here, full count, two, or not full count, two, two count. Bases loaded here, they're gonna get the ground ball there, get him out there at first. And that is how this one's gonna end. So. Unfortunately, couldn't bring anybody around, but we had a game plan there, and well, it didn't just work. It did not work out in our favor. As we go ahead and hey, there you go, we get the win. As we get uh, the fourth and final game of this series, splitting the series now two games apiece. So, Arizona, you're on notice. <laughs> So Arizona now knows they're on notice here. We play some pretty good baseball here. Didn't have the we didn't, as a team didn't have the best series here. It'd been nice if we could take uh, a nice series win here. But hey, we split. That means we're getting better. And uh, you know we're at the bottom. So there's only one other direction to go to, and that's just the top. And I think at some point here we can get there. So with that being said, here as we wrap up today's episode. And you see there, Bolden two for four here in this one with a double. Uh, so far, you know, uh, not too bad. I mean, we did lose three games straight there. Actually, four games since ever since that Pittsburgh series. But then we won that th th second game in that series against Arizona and then lost big time, 14-5 to five there in the game three, but came back and went by one, three to two. I'm hoping uh, if we get this next series coming up with the Dodgers, which I will go ahead and play it off cam, and I will play that myself. I will let you guys know how that series turns out. But uh, the last series before the break here is, in is the home series there. We finished the homestand uh, with the Cubbies. <coughs> Excuse me. And we play against them 
we'll see what we can do against the Cubbies there. And of course, you know, trade talks will be in amongst uh, a lot of against not just for Bolden but for other for players. And also too, we'll have that home run derby and the home uh, the home run derby and the uh, All Star break coming up here very soon. So. Uh, 218 episode 218. Well, that'll be the uh, the Cubby series, and of course the All Star break will be at 219. And then, uh, you know, we'll start the second half. I don't know. Question is, a lot of people are saying that Padres could be pulling the trigger here before the second half and Trey Bolden. Others are saying it could happen uh, within this after this series with Philly. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but I just feel like. Something big's going to be coming to the series here. And we might see Bolden in a different uniform here very soon. I can feel it. I just know it. But that is it for this episode of Road to the Show with Rashad Bolden. Stay tuned for more here on the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It's just literally for free. It's YouTube, guys. So it's literally for free. Hit that bell notification so you guys will be notified of this series or any other series here on the channel. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. The links are down below in the description. Check us out there as we do have a nice Discord. Trying to grow a nice uh, sports gaming nation there uh, for the channel. And of course, uh, you know, you guys get that bell notification. You guys get so many other notifications about other series that we have here. We've got several other Road to Shows here, characters on there. So definitely check out the channel for those others. Uh, there'll be, of course, two uh, being links at the end of this video of a uh, series that you guys can possibly, uh, if you're interested in checking out. But that's it for today's episode. As always, keep yourselves healthy. Stay cool, stay safe. I, and as always, I will see you guys next time.